thank you for joining us uh, to recognize and celebrate the completion of an extraordinary interchange here in the Oklahoma City area, uh, Interstate 235 Broadway Extension, Interstate 44 Interchange. Before we get started, I'd like to recognize some of the folks that are in the audience that have been just an integral part of getting this done. And uh, start out, uh, former Secretary of Transportation, Director of ODOT, Mike Patterson. Uh, we're glad Mike's here with us. Uh, certainly, Chairman Emeritus of our House Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation, uh, Todd Russ, great supporter of transportation. And I want to emphasize, and you're going to hear me say it again and again, the leadership of the legislature uh, and the resources that they brought to bear have made projects like this possible for the state of Oklahoma. Uh, so we really appreciate them. Uh, Chairwoman Nicole Miller, Representative Nicole Miller is here. She's on her way if she hadn't joined us yet. Uh, we're glad to have her with us. Uh, Representative Preston Stinson is here with us. Representative, thank you for joining us. Uh, former Chief Engineer uh, Casey Shell is here. Uh, Casey's not only former Chief Engineer of the Department of Transportation, also was a district engineer when a lot of this was built uh, and a lot of this was put under construction. Casey, we're glad to have you with us today. And uh, Bobby Stem with the AOGC. Bobby, uh, thank you for joining us. The heavy highway construction industry is what really makes this possible. Uh, you know, our private sector partners in the engineering community and the construction industry make projects like this go. And uh, this has certainly been a special one. Bob, thanks for being with us. And, uh, you know, a primary partner in transportation for all things here in Oklahoma, a long-standing partner and the best Federal Highway Administration division in the country. Uh, we've got Basharat Siddiqui and some of his staff with us here this afternoon. Basharat, thank you for what you do and thank you for being such a great partner to the state of Oklahoma. And with that, I want to bring up a very special guest that we've got here with us this afternoon. A governor that is uniquely focused on infrastructure and investing in Oklahoma's future uh, not for right now and not for today, but for tomorrow, for the next generation. And this project and series of projects is certainly a fine representation of Oklahoma's future. This is what it takes to keep us moving. This is what it takes to make Oklahomans prosperous. And quite frankly, this is a connection that's important to the nation. Uh, so with that, I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce the governor of the great state of Oklahoma, Governor Kevin Stitt. Governor. Thanks so much, uh, Secretary Gatch. You do an amazing job. Well, man, it's great to be with uh, all my fellow Oklahomans today. This is an exciting day. It's really the culmination of uh, 30 years of community involvement, the planning, the construction uh, to modernize this interchange. Uh, I-234, excuse me, I-235 was originally opened in 1989. Uh, and it's important to look back at the progress that we've made since then. If you think about it, we built the uh, Kilpatrick, the Kickapoo Turnpikes. We relocated the I-40 Crosstown, uh, built the uh, Lake Hefner Parkway, the corridor there. We've widened I-40 to El Reno, uh, I-35 all the way down to Norman, uh, and we're widening I-40 towards Shawnee. Completing uh, this interchange is a huge milestone for our transportation system, uh, but we are just getting started uh, in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, we announced that $13 billion project, which we're excited about. Uh, Oklahoma City Metro is continuing to grow, and when I think about commerce, we have such a competitive advantage, uh, and we want to make sure that we manage congestion and we stay ahead of that curve, and we have a great uh, uh, advantage over other cities uh, with their commutes like the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so we want to keep that going. We're going to continue to bring jobs and businesses uh, to Oklahoma, so we need to make sure that we support uh, our infrastructure. Uh, ODOT's eight-year plan has more than $7 billion in highway improvement statewide right now. 
Uh, that includes more than 800 million right here in Oklahoma County. Some of the major projects including include finishing the I-35 and the I-240 interchange and starting to rebuild the interchange uh, at I-40 and I-44. Uh, we still have a lot to do, but today we're gonna celebrate uh, this one here. I remember just uh, wasn't too long ago before we were cutting the ribbon up there on that bridge. Uh, so Secretary Gatz, you and your team have done an amazing job with all your engineers. Uh, to all the ODOT workers, thank you so much. On behalf of Oklahomans, thank you for all the hard work that you put in uh, to keep us safe and to make this possible. Uh, to all of our contractors and partners, uh, thank you guys for investing uh, in Oklahoma infrastructure. And to the legislature, uh, nothing would be possible unless you guys prioritize uh, these projects. And so uh, it's an honor to work with you as well. And also to Oklahomans, thank you for your patience. I drive down this uh, every day, and so I'm so happy to see this uh, completed as well. Oklahoma, we are, we're on our way to be top 10 in a lot of stuff and infrastructure is just one of them. So back to you, Secretary Gatch, you're doing a great job. Let's keep it going. Thank you, Governor. And you know, to really put some emphasis on it, this is a busy interchange. I mean, you don't have to look any further than just right out here to the east uh, to see all the traffic that flows through. Key word there being flow. As you can tell, we're not gridlock, folks. And this is an interchange that too many times in the past has been at complete gridlock. So opening it up, uh, getting traffic moving again has been really, really important to us. And it's a historic day for the city of Oklahoma City, for the state of Oklahoma, and it's been one that's more than 30 years in the making. Uh, Mayor Holt wasn't able to join us this afternoon, but certainly his participation and support for all things transportation in the city of Oklahoma City has been critical to us. Uh, and we're proud to be out here to represent. You know, as the governor pointed out, and he talks about 30 years, I've worked for the Department of Transportation. I'm in my 32nd year. When I hired in, we were just completing uh, the project on I-235 that stops at 23rd Street. You know, this has been a long endeavor. It's taken many, many phases to accomplish it, and it's taken diligence additional revenue and investment and the willpower to get it done. Uh, so again, whether you're talking about the work that's been done between Interstate 44 to Edmond on Broadway, uh, which was a major capital improvement program project that was started in the late 90s, uh, whether you're talking about the 36th Street interchange just up the road here and the work that was done on it, all of that was done in preparation for putting this interchange under construction and at some point getting it complete. So it's a run up to what we're here for today. You know, the adoption of the eight year construction work plan back in 2003 really allowed the Department of Transportation to put the kind of focus on these projects and to carry them forward successfully uh, and to really finally tackle some of these major projects uh, like the Interstate 40 Crosstown realignment, certainly I-235 and I-44 right here are no exception. We've invested nearly $400 million to modernize this corridor all the way from 23rd Street to Edmond. That includes work like replacing this massive railroad bridge uh, just to the south. If you remember the day that we rolled that into place, uh, had a complete innovative plan executed by an exceptional contractor uh, in Allen Construction. What a day that was and uh, quite an exceptional improvement. Uh, the most recent phase of the interchange started in spring of 2019 and is completing right in accordance with the three year time frame that we expected it to take. It was a $105 million contract, the largest contract awarded in the history of the state of Oklahoma at that time. This phase completes the widening of the corridor to six lanes and in some areas up to eight lanes between Oklahoma City and Edmond. And it's the first four level state highway interchange in the state. We've got one more phase to go, but it doesn't have the type of impact that we've seen on the main line, 
That's the westbound I-44 ramp to northbound US-77 and the Broadway extension and tying in Lincoln Boulevard with a connection to Broadway extension. Uh, and again, this work is not going to be nearly as impactful as the interstate uh, interchange proper has been. Uh, so we're pretty excited to get it wrapped up. Uh, we're really excited that traffic is moving through the interchange location as well as it is today. It's been a multi-year endeavor that's involved literally hundreds of ODOT personnel, engineers from design firms, construction contractor employees, and we want to thank all those partners with the completion of this final phase. It's been an exceptional endeavor a long undertaking and we've stayed the course uh, Allen contracting with the completion of this phase for providing that quality product and keeping motorists safe while we've been able to make this progress to Governor Stitt and his predecessors who have kept this on the priority list and kept investing in infrastructure for Oklahoma's future a priority of the state of Oklahoma uh, you've got our great thanks and appreciation, uh, Mayor Holt and City of Oklahoma City, uh, the Greater Oklahoma City Chamber of Commerce for their recognition of the need for these improvements and the tireless efforts that they've put in to help us make sure we've got this message out to the public. I'd also like to recognize ODOT's Edmond Construction Residency for their work, including Jeff Garter, who is on site daily. Uh, and their efforts are greatly appreciated. Most importantly, I want to really thank the traveling public and the motorists who've had to travel through this interchange uh, for far too long. Thank you for your patience while we've done the work. Thank you for the actions that you've taken to keep this interchange safe. Thank you for paying attention in the work zones that we've had to have in progress and in process. You're a partner in the completion of this interchange just as much as anybody. Uh, so thanks to the public of the state of Oklahoma. Uh, we named this work Off-Broadway to encourage the public to use alternative routes during the past several years of construction. Now today, we're saying come back and it's on Broadway. We're very excited to de declare this corridor open and we're glad to see traffic flowing through it. So with that, I'd like for all the dignitaries that are with us to come forward. We're going to unroll a ribbon and do a ceremonial ribbon cutting. And again, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, thanks to our media partners for coming and covering a really exceptional event in Oklahoma transportation history. So with that, let's get a ribbon going, folks. Governor.